Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Elder Scrolls Lore, and today we're going to be talking about the 4th Legion. Now before we begin, I'd like to thank Ares for allowing me to use his music, and I'd like to make a shout out to the Discord chat, feel free to join it in the link in the description below, or the link in my channel header. Feel free to join that, we talk about gaming, lore, and a few other things. It's also easier to recommend videos with me, and then uh, give me just some feedback, or we can just talk, it doesn't matter. It's a lot easier to do that and communicate that way. Now with that being said, um... It's currently finals week for me. I'm busy as all hell. Uh, I'm recording this the day before it comes out, so I had some time to get it, and there is new footage. Uh, just that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, overall, I've been extremely busy, and uh, you guys have been really good in the support, and uh, you guys have been really nice and understanding about that, so I appreciate that. Just want to let you know that I appreciate what you guys are doing, and overall, I hope you enjoy the video. Now that being said, we're going to be doing the 4th Legion. And uh, just another thing before we go actually, is uh, be aware that there are videos, community videos, that I'm going to be working on. There is one about the uh, Khajiit tribes I'm going to be working on very soon, the Khajiit breeds. And then there's a few others that are in line to come out. So that's the last thing being said, I'll elaborate more at the end of the video. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. The 4th Legion of Black Marsh was initially a division within the Imperial Le Legion. Initially led by a young and charismatic commander named Argarius Buko, it fought during the Imperial Invasion of Black Marsh known as the Blackwater War. Now one thing that should be noted is that this is not a legion that served under Tiber Septum or the Third Empire. This is a legion that served under the Riemann Dynasty and the Riemann Empire. I know I stated in my earlier video that I was going to be sticking to legions that served only the Third Empire, Empire, but we're getting to that point where we're going to be transitioning into other empires, other dynasties, and other legions that served under what. And granted, this is still the Imperial Army, it's just a revised and an edited version of it, and this is a legion that predates all of the all of those edits and revisions that were later incorp be incorporated into the Third Empire. Now, during the Blackwater War, which started in 2811 of the First Era, it became obvious to Imperial forces that the 4th Legion's equipment was not intended for use in the swampy, moist climate of Black Marsh. Much of their armor was heavy and prone to rust. By late 2812 of the First Era, some Legionaries had completely abandoned significant portions of their armor due to the lack of comfort stemming from the weight and subs subsequent intense heat caused by the armor. Now, like their extremely inadequate armor techniques, the 4th Legion's battle tactics had proved, proved disastrous in, in Black Marsh. Due to the region's typically swampy and inhospitable geography, the Legion had serious trouble with organization, especially during battle. The uneven th and thick terrain meant that their use of rigid line organization in clear areas was no longer applic applicable. The lack of unity meant that giving orders on the battlefield was difficult. This in turn led to numerous failures in the battle and many desertions. Thousands of legionaries of the 4th Legion would die during the war because of the Legion's unpreparedness. By the year 2816 of the First Era, all that was left was of the 4th Legion were six ragged cohorts. Morale steadily declined as losses in battle, disease, and disappearances afflicted the legionaries. By 2820, the 4th Legion had almost entirely been destroyed, and the few remaining soldiers could not last much longer. At one point, the leader of the 4th Legion, Argarius Buko, was almost deposed as commander, and orders to withdraw from the deep swamps of Black Marsh were issued. The remnants of the Legion, just over 350 soldiers, made a stop at an ancient Argonian pyramid known as Tse Tse, and on the 10th day of the withdrawal, with the intention of continuing the retreat onto Cyrodiil, now, however, on this last night of the last seed 14 of the 2820 of the First Era, the few surviving troops were all killed, presumably by the Argonian forces. Mysteriously, the bodies of roughly 150 of them were never discovered, and no indication of whatsoever of their whereabouts were ever recorded. It's only assumed that they were either taken as slaves, killed, and their bodies were never recovered, or they assimilated into the population. After word of the 4th Legion's utter annihilation reached Cyrodiil, the 4th Legion was reconstructed by the Imperial Council, this time commanded by General Regulus Sardicus. Thus began the second campaign of the Blackwater War. 
Under Sardicus's leadership, the newly re re recreated 4th Legion quickly resumed fighting in Black Marsh, regaining all previously lost territory by 2823 of the First Era. This was largely credit credited to Sardicus's orders that the Legionnaires were to be switched out of their metal armor for padded leather jackets, which were more suited to the Argonian climate. Additionally, efforts were made to improve communications between Imperial Quartermasters, Scouts, and Argonian Irregulars. The Legion learned to live off the land rather than to rely purely on imported supplies. Sardicus had also decreed that Centurions and Legates were to be allowed more control over their own groups of soldiers, thus allowing more organization and independent fighting. Sardicus was also quick to strip a soldier of their rank if they did not adhere to his methods. This system served to imp both improve efficiency and the morale of the Legionnaires. Now, the most successful way that Sardicus overcame his opponents was actually through diplomacy rather than brute force. Unlike his predecessor, he was aware that Argonians were not, in fact, fully united. Now, many influential tribes who were considered disenfranchised, such as the Arkans or the Shaskolal tribes, were offered various rewards for assisting the Legion in its conquests. In some circumstances, even full military alliances were formed, nearly tripling the Legion's manpower, and at last giving the Imperials a great advantage in the war. The militaristic strategy of Sardicus and the 4th Legion worked on the idea that the Argonian swamps were the most dangerous force to be faced. The strategy also focused on rendering their sources of food, cover, and travel useless to the Argonians. After setting ablaze an expansive underground tunnel system, the Legion realized that the tunnels had, but had been much farther, farther reaching than anticipated. What started as just another attack to much of the region being entirely engulfed in flames. As a result of the fire, hundreds of Legion soldiers and Argonians alike were devastated by frequent deaths of swamp lung and gas explosions, leading to a second retreat and, su and the subsequently Sardicus's death by an infected wound during the re return to Cyrodiil. We do not know what infected wound this was. The 4th Legion strategy had again been altered by 2833 of the First Era, at which point General Lucinia Falco had succeeded Sardicus as commander of the 4th Legion. Falco split up her soldiers into hundreds of small, highly lethal groups called Red Belts, in a place of the full Legion. The prowess of these so-called Red Belts were strengthened by the experience and the knowledge of the grizzled swamp veterans, some of whom had been fighting in the swamp war, fighting in the war since the second campaign. Although much progress was made at the beginning of the campaign through the use of this system, captured territory was held very loosely by the 4th Legion. Eventually, conflicted, the conflict escalated to an all-out guerrilla war, and tactics such as fierce intimidation were often used. By late 2836 of the First Era, however, the Argonians abruptly ceased fighting, and by 2837 of the First Era, the Empire effectively secured control over the region. Now, not much is known else after the after this time period about the fourth legion but we can also assume that at this time that it's most likely that the fourth legion stayed in black marsh even when the Riemann empire fell and the third empire took over it can only be assumed that it just transferred over into the third empire and the third empire just gained control of the fourth legion in black marsh or vice versa when the empire reclaimed black marsh during the tiber wars it can only be assumed that the fourth legion was set here to occupy the region or occupy the coastlands or whichever area and territory was deemed accessible or occupiable by the empire with that being said it's most likely the third the fourth legion right now which we do not know where it is, it is most likely that it's probably located in Cyrodiil, around the border between Thalmor and the Empire. With that being said, Black Marsh is no longer a province within the Empire, and so it's probably assumed that this legion is probably in Cyrodiil, around that border, uh, and no longer in Black Marsh. Now that will conclude what we, what we have for this video, and as you can tell, this was something from the Riemann Empire. We're going to be transitioning more into legions and other armies that fought in other factions such as the Elysian and the Riemann empires now. Uh, I just did the Dominion Navy and now there aren't too much more things on other navies out there. There's specific fleets we could talk about but there's very very little we have of those of those fleets so I can't see myself doing a video on something that I have maybe a paragraph about. Um, with that being said I also might do a video where you just do a bunch of quick tidbits where we have questions where people want a little bit of lore on certain videos, we can talk about other things. 
Now, um, with that being said, I stated earlier that we have built a bunch of other community videos that I'm working on. There are a bunch of things that were just recommended in the comments uh, a few days ago that I that just got added onto the list. Uh, with that being said, the video the videos that are currently ahead right now of the community videos that I want to get out are the Khajiit videos that I want to go. The script's already made, I just gotta get the footage and the editing done and that will come out. I've been very busy so I've been unfortunately not been able to commit myself to some larger projects that I want to go on to, uh, like that one. There are also a few other larger projects I want to commit myself to. I want to get another video or another uh, concept or another theory video out sometime soon. It's been a while since I've made one of those. I haven't made one since the beginning of the semester for me, which was around August, September. So it's been a while since I've made a video like that as well. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave any comments below or go to the Discord chat if you have any other more video recommendations. All these videos of the legions and the, uh, and the navies have all been recommended videos. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. I haven't been doing any topics I um, I have thought of since the city videos, which we will start going back into relatively soon. And I'll start mixing it in with these other videos so it's not just all army or all navy or all certain topics. I'll start mixing them in and blending cities with navies and other things, other lore topics. So we're not just getting the same thing. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And please start sharing the video if you want. It's also nice. We're getting near 600 subscribers. And at this point, uh, when I get there, I'm going to be streaming. I'm not sure when I'll be streaming yet. I'll think of it soon. But when I get there, I will. It won't be like the 500 video where it took me forever to get it out. <laughs> um, with that being said, though, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys around. Peace.